Hey, you made it to part six of Wishpond's email marketing masterclass for beginners. In this section, we're going to talk about A and B testing your emails. So in this part of the course, we're going to talk about what is A and B testing, what to track for A and B testing, what is the importance of a click-through rate, and how to increase your click-through rate for your emails. Now, what is AMB testing your email? It's simply sending two or more emails with slight variations. This could be a change in subject line, a change in an email body, email design. It can also be the different times that you're going to send your emails to see which one gives you the most results. At Wishbone, we offer AMB testing with all our email automation tools as well as our email marketing campaigns. That way, you can see real live results on which email is giving you back the most click through rates. Now, when it comes to sending or even A and B testing your emails, there are four things that you should track or look out for your open rate, your response rate, your click through rate, and your conversion rate. The most important is your click through rate, or also known as CTR. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit of each of those four things that you need to track for your emails. First up is your open rate. Your open rate explains how many people or the percentage of people that open the email that you sent them. Next up is your response rate. Now your response rate is a combination of your click-through rate and how many people responded to your email. Next up is your click-through rate, also known as CTR. Now your click-through rate is a percentage of people who had clicked on a link anywhere on your email that led them to somewhere like your website or your contact us page and lastly is your conversion rate now your conversion rate is the percentage of people who actually turned from readers into buyers and your conversion rate is connected to your click-through rate if people don't click on your emails then they won't be able to convert into customers that's why your CTR is so important. Getting a high CTR when you're sending an email is one of the most challenging things any marketer has to face. Your click-through rate can be as low as 1-4%. to Now, if you have been sending out emails and you'd like to see what your click-through rate actually is, I've dropped a really amazing formula for you to use so you can find out. Now that you know how to calculate your click-through rate, I'm going to show you some ways that you can improve your click-through rate. In fact, here are a few emails that you can send to increase your click-through rate. One, an upsell email. Two, a win-back email. Three, a survey email. Now I'm going to show you some examples of those three emails. Now for our win-back email, we've decided to use the brand Harry's. Now, Harry's is an e-commerce brand that sells shaving accessories, tools, and items for men, from razors to foam to moisturizers to scrubs. Now, for this email, you have a bold product image showing their product in a lifestyle setting. Of course, shaving takes place in the bathroom, it's on the sink, and they have a beautiful header that says, try our new foaming shave gel and aftershave moisturizer. So, it's winning back the customer with a new product. So we have a new product, why not try it out? Then in the short script, they talk about the benefits of using the moisturizer. Whoop. Now, they also said at the end that we started Harry's to make shaving better. It just got two times better. Trying to say that, hey, we initially created this brand to make shaving a better experience for you. And now with our new product, it's just as better with a simple, nice blue CTA saying shop now. It's simple to the point. It introduces a product. It shows the product in a lifestyle setting. It has really good branding color. As you can see, that blue is the most prominent color in the email. That is Harry's brand. color. Now we have Kate Spade for our survey email. Of course, you see on the left-hand side is the logo and on the right-hand side is the free shipping offer. Again, for email designs, this is a comment placement where you have the logo on the left and an offer on the right or right below. And then we have new clothing, accessories, travel. We have some icons so people can shop right on the email for their favorite item. So they click and they're redirected to the section or the category that they want. And then we have a bold header that says, can we ask you something? 
with a short copy that says, take our quick email and we'll knock 20% off your order. The 25%, sorry, 25% off your order. The 25% is highlighted in bold with an asterisk just so you don't miss it. And it also says for your next order on sunday.com. Hurry, only a few days left to do it. So we see that it's pushing urgency. And then we have a small little CTA that says go. Personally, for me, I would make the CTA a little bit bigger, but I think that overall they wanted their header to be the most prominent part of their email. And at the end, of course, the social icons, but as well as they also play some terms and conditions, stating that it's only valid for Saturday, it can't be combined with any other promotions. So they're telling people what they can and can't get with the offer right off the bat so that they're not caught off guard if they decide to shop right now. Our next upsell email example is from Headspace. Headspace is another great brand that you should add to your list if you're looking for really cool email designs that you wanna learn from or you wanna to use to inspire your own email designs. First up, you have the Headspace logo, and then in bold red, we see last chance. And a really big header that plays off on the image, the party ends tonight. Get 50% off your, a year of Headspace. I think this is really cool because from the beginning of the email, right in bold and red, which we know is a color that places urgency, passion, resistance, um, the party ends tonight. Get 50% off. And we have a little silly cake right here showing you it's the last slice, kind of representing hurry up, implementing the fear of missing out. And you also have a short body of text that says, hey, our birthday celebration is almost over. Here's a little bit of cake left and 50% off Headspace for a year. And at the bottom, we have a very big CTA button that says subscribe now. Now, if you notice the CTA button, which traditionally most email designs decide to use is the same color as the brand's color. It's also the biggest one of the biggest items on the page apart from the header and apart from the cake is the third biggest thing on the page and below we see where the offer ends the time and the date again below we have the essentials social media icons if you need help reach out to us vice versa all right and that ends part six of amb testing your email now, as usual, I've attached a detailed PDF with the case studies and the examples that you can follow and even try for yourself. Also, again, if you ever need any help, I'm always here. Don't be afraid to reach out to me.